Hello everybody and welcome back to Monglo Bay. My name is of course Constantine and we are back on a ship here as we are trying to make our way um, back home I think because we have quite a few missions that we got to do. But before we do that one, in the previous episode we managed to get ourselves quite a lot of fishies. Now I'm not going to start cooking them just yet because I am going to have to put a lot of them uh, in the aquarium of course. But first of all, by the looks of it, this thing is going to sell for quite a bit and I'm not spending any money to uh, get it. So let's see if we can actually start cooking a little bit of this. Let me just grab one Shakoi. Let me grab some Acadian red fishies. I'm not gonna grab ones that are gonna be just one of them because I'm not sure exactly which ones I gotta give back to the aquarium. So I'm gonna make sure I have a few into my inventory here. I'm not gonna ruin uh, what I'm trying to do here. Let me grab one of these. Let me grab two of these and this should be everything. All right, this should be really easy to do. Let me just wash it up real fast. Man, I absolutely love it that we have the kitchen, we got a bed in the boat, you got everything we need. You don't have to go back home if you don't want to. If you're actually planning to uh, sit on the ocean here for a while and uh, catch a lot of fishies every single day, and you don't want to go back home every single day, then uh, this is a great way to do it. Make sure you upgrade this stuff and uh, you're gonna be all good. All right, let's keep on going. Man, this one so far has been uh, one of my favorite voxel art games that have been that have that I have been playing so far, and I absolutely love it. Of course, there are a lot of voxel games out there, especially in the last two years, I think 2020 and 2021 that has been released. But uh, so far, I'm enjoying this one the most. I don't know, it's just something about it that's really enjoyable, just because it's so cozy, I guess. And look at that, we got a new recipe: the fish kebab. Hmm, interesting. As I was saying, the more you uh, cook, the more stuff you unlock, which is really great. And by the looks of it, uh, I still, oh god, the cost is 80, and we're getting 85, 185, which means uh, only about 100, eh? It is quite expensive to do. So I may not do it. Um, fish poutine, lobster roll, seafood chowder, uh, clam chowder. I know that somebody wanted clam chowder, right? Whoa, this one is 74, 260, Jesus! Oh, but the thing is, I do not want to use the singing clam. We gotta put this one in the aquarium first. So we're definitely gonna have to make our way back on the boat here eventually. For now, let me just jump back on the boat and let me try to make my way back home. So we gotta go this way to keep on doing more missions. Uh, put all the fish that we got in the previous episode into the aquarium just so that we make sure we don't sell them by mistake. And then I'm probably going to come back here to try to catch me more fishies because this area has quite a bit of them. I'm not quite sure exactly in what state my boat is in, but I feel like I may need to fix it up a little bit. First of all, let me try to catch me more fishies while not while we're at it. I know that by using the fishing net we're catching more fishies, but you know what? We're good. Don't worry about it. Um, hmm, I don't think we got a new species now. There we go. Good job. Let me keep on going. I am going to stop from time to time just to try to catch me more fishies because we have a lot of cooking to do. <laughs> I absolutely love these guys. All right, let me also clean up the ocean a little bit while we're at it. I'm still really curious to see what kind of upgrade are we gonna get on our uh, on our fishing net here. Once we're gonna get, our, I guess, enough of this trash out of the water. I don't even know. I don't even know how this works, but I'm definitely gonna keep on doing it until eventually it's gonna happen. Oh God, nobody! That was a huge throw. I just needed a little bit, just like that. There we go. We got more buckets out of the water. Now, I know that that looks like I didn't put a lot of the water, but it, I think there is a glitch in the game currently. Ooh, I think my crabs are ready. Look at that. Awesome. All right, let's grab this one. Perfect. And put in another crab. Getting all these crabs is so easy, though. Having so many traps around, I love it. I'm definitely gonna have to put more traps than the one that I'm putting, for sure. Let's put one there. All right, let me move on a little bit here because I want to put another trap down. Uh, let's see, we have a little bit more here. Can I? Hmm, hold up, I think I gotta get a little bit closer to it. What? It's not working. There you go, buddy. 
Alright, this one is not a crab, but that's fine. Let me put another one here. And I think the only one that we're hearing right now is the one that's uh, on the bay here. So let me try to do this one as well. There we go. Fortunately, not what I wanted, but that's fine. Alright, uh, let's see. What do we gotta do next? So first thing is first, as I was saying, let me make my way to the aquarium to put some more stuff in there. And then I'm gonna focus on doing some other things. Now, if I'm not mistaken, hold up, let me look at the missions for a second here. Uh, River and uh, yada yada yada, return to Shizuka and civic restoration. Hmm. I mean, I'm curious if I gotta give the clam that we have to them. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot grab anything out of this one just yet, of course. Monstone. Oh my god, two million. What? Interesting. So we gotta wait for the mirror to get out of there so that we can chat with him. But first, can we chat with Shizuka? Oh, there we go. Are they gonna be playing? Ah, Mr. Fisher, did you find the source of the music? We certainly did. And? And it's amazing. <laughs> See, just like I said. Rose came by to share a recipe, but we both lost our appetite for clam. It's all yours for being such a fine sleuth. There we go. We got ourselves a recipe. Awesome. Uh, does this mean that I can also chow with her now? Hey, Santin, great to see you. Be safe with the water today. People care about you. Always. Hmm, what about this fella? Mm -hmm. Ah, the collector of fishy tails. I'm all out of story, but I wish you every success. Hmm. I mean, it does look like there's a mission here. But I'm not quite sure exactly what this one is about. Anyway, uh, let me keep on going then to the aquarium as I was saying, so that we can deliver the stuff that we have. Oh, hey, hold up, hold up. I got a lot of stuff to give you. I mean, look at all this. Jesus, we got so much. Oh my God. And deliver. Wow, perfect. I'll add all my notes for your journal. There we go. And I think if I go to chat with her again, and we can deliver everything. Perfect. All right, and if I go to the journal here, I mean, look at this. We got so many things. Uh, the gingerbread barracuda, the sprinter urchin, the giant clam. Uh, we got the smoking halibuts. Oh my God, we got so many fishes. Let me just update all of them, I guess, by going through them like that. There we go. And of course, we are gonna have just a few more. Uh, let's see how many we gotta find. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we actually have quite a bit of them to find, actually. I just went through them, uh, trying to count them in. Uh, I, I thought they were gonna be less. <laughs> I definitely thought they were gonna be less, but never mind. All right, let's just see what other missions we got today. So, uh, we got to do some more civic restorations. Uh, we still have to investigate the, twink the Twinktail Lake. It works, Casey. The door is open. The Sulphur Deep and the Elusive Twin fish lie beyond. Uh, you'll never believe what we found, Casey. Near the Sulphur Shallows lies a giant ocean door. All right, and then the Song of the Sea. The river and I heard the beautiful melody, and now reason know that the subconscious is vitally important and discover where it's from. Speak to Rose Trembly. So maybe we gotta speak to Rose Trembly more about something? I don't even know. But first, let me make my way over here for a second because we do have to do something about this area, right? I mean, we did manage to fix up the lake here. It's all looking great. Uh, what if I fix this one up? 3,000. Jesus, that's really expensive. I mean, I see that we have a mission here, but I'm not sure what this mission is all about. Hmm. How are you doing today? So you gotta go. Hmm. Interesting indeed. Interesting indeed. All right, well, you know what? Let me then focus on cleaning up the beaches. I really want to see these beaches cleaned up. This one is 800, so let me just spend on fixing it up. There we go. Much, much better now. Love it. And I think everything that we're seeing right here are probably clams, right? These are. Uh, this is not trash anymore. Uh, I still keep on hearing that noise, though, that singing. I'm not sure exactly what that is all about. But let me just... Fix up this one as well. Oh my god, this looks so good. Look at this place. Huh. Hi, darling. I'm afraid I'm fresh out of uh, fish ideas. That's fine because I do want to fix up this one as well. And fix. There we go. 
even better. This looks so good. And well, Addy, you know what? Let me also go ahead and get myself more of these bugs. We most definitely need this stuff. I messed it up. I didn't get all of them, but that's fine. I think I'm also going to make my way to the notice board to get some more missions if I can. Uh, let me get more bugs, I guess. Come on, buddy. A little bit further. I'm going to try to fix the entire beach, though. Go around all of it and try to make sure that it's all going to be completely fixed up. Alright, so we got that. Let's see. Do we have any more beaches over here that we got to clean up? I know that this guy needs something from me. I'm not quite sure exactly what. Uh, crab rice, but we don't have that. Is she gonna say anything about me fixing the bitches? I'm afraid I'm fresh out of rumors. All right, so she's not gonna say anything. Uh, what if I try to make my way inside my house then and try to cook me some more stuff? Let's just see if that's gonna work. So we know that we gotta put the rice in the shop so they can start selling it. Ooh, colon sink. What? Or skink, actually. So there's also a new recipe. Uh, the jerk poutine, fish taco. What else do we got around here? Hold up. I know that we needed something, right? The fish fingers. Uh, fish kebab. Surf and turf. Octopus. Tuna sashimi. Fried flying fish. Yeah, I don't really have what I need in order to make a um, hmm. rice bowl. Where the heck is that crab rice, though? Is it right here? Yeah, I definitely don't have it. So I'm definitely gonna have to come back when I'm gonna have the recipe, I guess. Maybe some new recipes got unlocked and I may be able to go ahead and purchase them. I don't even know. But for now, let me just make another bowl of these ones, I guess. Let's see if they have a lot of fishies of uh, a specific species. Oh my god, look at how many we got of these. We're definitely gonna go with a little bit of banana here. Let's go with two halibuts and one of these and one of these. There we go. And I'm going to put these ones straight into the shop because I want to start selling it and making more money. As we are starting to invest a lot into the town here, we most definitely need to get ourselves even more coins. I keep on saying coins, but we're actually getting clams because that's the currency in this game. Right, that's done. Let's boil it up, fry it up, and then bake. Come on, buddy. There we go. That's done. Fry it up. And ultimately, bake it up. There we go. Alright, we got 26 of them. Hopefully, there's going to be enough for us to make a lot of money. And let me put it in the store as fast as possible. So, let me put a few in the store right here. At the same time, I think I'm going to put maybe some other stuff as well. But let me put... Five in here. Another five in here, I guess. Let's also put some other stuff, like the grilled octopus. No, uh, let me go with the grilled oysters. One of them here. Just because that is going to be worth a lot of money. And the steamed fish in here as well. All right. Let me also check some of the other stalls that we got so that we can get those filled up with food as well. I think I'm going to fix up the uh, market here, to tell the truth. I really want to see this thing fixed up. But first, let me grab, uh, let's see, Rhino Sand Flea. We definitely can do that. Owen has a small request, Sea Salads. And Dire Rock. Don't know what that is, Akio, but I'm definitely going to try it. Alright, so let's see here. This guy wants the Rhino Sand Flea, which we definitely have. Sea Salad, I don't think I can do it. And this guy wants the dire rock. I don't know exactly what that is. But that is fine. So as I was saying, what I was wanting to do here... I want to chat with the mayor here for a second and see what he needs. Clam chowder. Do I have clam chowder? Grilled oysters. Fish chowder. Aha, uh -huh, so we got to meet the clam chowder. I get it, I get it. Alright buddy, I'm going to come back to you then when I'm, once I'm going to do that. For now... Let me fill up the store with more food, which of course is going to be five of them over here. Five more over here, I guess. 
Uh, let me get rid of the fish chow. Uh, tuna sashimi, I don't think I need this anymore. I'm pretty sure we're done with that. Uh, whole fish over here. And the oysters. Perfect. And while we're at it, as I was saying, I do want to make my way inside here for a second. And see what I got to do with these fellas. So, first of all. Thanks again for the fish tacos. Remember, the only way to master recipes is to keep cooking. With all that in time and care and practice, who knows what you might suddenly come up with. Alright, buddy. But first, I want to chat with somebody here. Uh, so, she's going to sell me more fish, which I definitely going to go ahead and purchase. Why not? All of it. All of it, all of it, because we do need all the fishes that we can get to start cooking more foods. And order. Perfect. Oh, add it. Let's see if we can chat with her. Sorry, kind of busy right now. That's fine. Next up, let me chat with you. My legs are going to sleep. I you staying and fishing all day. But the thing is, I really want to start selling some of this for some of the most expensive stuff. So let's go with 100 of these. Awesome. As for the fleas, we got 22. Uh, I am going to use some of them, like maybe 10. Oh, hold up. Uh, let's go with... Actually, did I already... Yeah, I already put 10 in there. So let's go with that. And let's put... 50 more, 40 more in here for that. Perfect. And lastly, let me chat with this fella. I know that I had a mission for this fella, but I think I kind of wasted too much time in the ocean. I'm not going to be able to do it anymore. Good. Just in the middle of something. And unfortunately, this guy does not have new recipes for me, so I'm not going to be able to do anything about it. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Some other time, then. I guess I'm going to buy that final upgrade from him some other time. For now, let me just go ahead and upgrade this thing for a thousand. There we go. Look at this place. It looks so much better now. I love it. Oh my god, this place is going to be coming along in just a second. All right. Uh, I said that I want to finish up the beaches, though. And I want to go all the way this way and see if there are any more banners that I'm supposed to fix up. I think the final one that we did on this side was about here somewhere. Yeah, you know what? I think we are completely done with the beaches. Yeah, it definitely looks like it. Which is really great. Interesting. It's really curious that I cannot give her the type of food that she was requesting previously. For some reason, I cannot give it to her anymore. But that is all good. Uh, this place is 2200 That is a lot. I mean, that's exactly the whole money that we have. I'm not going to fix any houses just yet. I want to focus on fixing some other things for now. Hmm. I still have no idea what I'm supposed to do here, though. It does feel like there's a mission over here by the looks of it, but um, I got no clue what I'm supposed to do about it. Uh, let me see here. Ooh. Can I chat with her? Thank you one more time for the Divine Surf and Turf and scintillating conversation. Of course, all the town needs some renovations. Yeah, I know. We're definitely going to focus on that. Um, hmm, is this the mission that I got to do here? Fix this up? Well, I guess let's do it. Why not? Since we started with this project today, trying to fix up the entire town. I mean, look at this. This is looking so much better. I'm guessing the mission we're having right now is a person that's living inside this apartment. That's why I'm not able to chat with anybody there. And the other person is... Wait, where? Ah, I think it's this guy in the lighthouse. But I think I'm supposed to fix it up. 2000, we have it. So let's just go ahead and do it. Whoa, this looks so much better now. It was looking so broken down, but look at this. The entire lad house is finally fixed. Ah, that is definitely worth it. And of course, we are going to have to wait for this fella to come out of the um, building so that we can chat with him and uh, maybe do the mission for him. But for now, I think it is a little bit too late and I may need to go a little bit to sleep, reset the day, and then I'll uh, keep her going. So let me make my way all the way upstairs. And I think uh, when we're going to wake up tomorrow, I'm also going to have to make my way back into the waters and start fishing some more for sure. All right.
right, there we go. Nude has started. Now, let's see what we gotta do here. Uh, to do so, Cloud has some work available. This guy needs some Rhino C Flea, which we definitely have, but I'm gonna have to wait for him to come out of the uh, house, I guess. No, I don't want. I don't want to read this. I don't want to do no reading. Come on, buddy. All right, that's fine. Let's see what we got to cook today. That's gonna be worth quite a bit. Ooh, the tacos. Yes, we definitely have to do these ones then. So let me do a lot of these. Four. Oh my god, the green ain't musky. Look at this thing. He looks so weird. And grab this one as well. All right, first of all, we gotta fry it up. There we go. Uh, chop it up, and I have a feeling this is gonna be a difficult mission for chopping, right? Nope, it's pretty easy, actually. Boil it up. There we go. Yeah, we definitely have to make our way back to the ocean to start catching more fishes because we are kind of running out of it quite a bit. All right, and finally the bread. Now, let me see if I can make another batch though because nine of them is not gonna give me enough money. And the answer is no, we don't have the specific fishes that we need for that, apparently. Interesting. All right, well, in that case, uh, I guess we're gonna keep on going here. Oh, it's raining. Huh. All right, so, let's see. What are we supposed to do today? The shop is still closed because it's a little bit too early in the morning, so we gotta wait for some more people to wake up before we're gonna start doing some more stuff, some more of the stuff. Let me first of all get me more bugs, I guess. Why not? So as we're waiting here. Oh no, buddy! Come on, you're in the way. <laughs> oh wait, I never saw her coming in with the boat. That is brand new. There we go. Awesome. And apparently I do have a mission for somebody. Hold up, can I get out of here? Do I have a mission for her? Nope, not really. I think I have a mission for the old lady, yeah. Uh, you picked up my no. Let's see what she needed though, because I completely forgot. Uh, she needs a sea salad, but I do not know how to make it, so I'm gonna have to forget about this mission. Uh, what about this fella in the lighthouse? Is going in his house? Yeah, I think it is, but I may need to wait for him to come out of it. Hmm. Interesting. All right, well, in that case, let me fill up the store here with the food that we just made. And that is this one right here, all of it. Perfect, hopefully that's gonna bring in some more money. And while we're at it, let me jump straight on the boat and keep on fishing. Oh my god, I mean, look at this. We spent so much money in trying to fix up and renovate the place here, the island, the town, I should say. And we're already back up to 2,000. That is so good. Love it. So, so good. Alright, so if I keep on going straight up, I am going to make my way to the portal there, right? To the gate. And while we're doing that, let me also get a little bit of the ocean cleaned up by grabbing some of this trash. I am gonna keep on cleaning up the trash here because eventually we are gonna get ourselves something return. I'm pretty sure about it. Wait, I think I need to pull back a little bit here. And grab that tire over there. There you go, buddy. All right now, let me make let me check the mission for a second. So we gotta investigate the Twintail Lake. What is that? Is he here? Oh, we gotta get investigate this. Yeah, although it's not showing me a mission or anything, I think I gotta just go exploring a little bit in there. Until eventually we are gonna find something, I guess. 
All right, this is the waking storm, but we are good. We should be fine in here. While we're at it, you know what? Let me catch me some more fishes in here. Again, the good thing is that we can actually go to sleep inside our boat, so we don't have to be worried about going back home in order to sleep so that we can rest. We can always do this one while we are on our own boat. All right, let me try to grab me these ones as well. Thank you very much. And while we're at it, let's just see if this is going to give me something good. I didn't want to scare him off, buddy. Come on. Give me something good. Give me something unique here, please. Ooh! This one's pulling quite a bit. Interesting. Can I see it? Oh, never mind. It's just a 13 kilo fish. Nothing really that special. Huh. I mean, by the way he was pulling, I really thought that was going to be something more interesting. Ooh, look at this one. What? A new species, a sunfish. This one is so weird. Love it. Alright, we got a new species. Finally. Love it. Because apparently we have so many more fishes that we got to bring to the aquarium before we're going to be able to finish up the uh, guidebook. All right, another sunfish. Perfect. Hopefully that's going to be used for a specific recipe. I don't even know. But now that we got two of them, at least we know that we can use one to cook something. And one I'm going to put in the aquarium, of course. Another one. Hmm. These things are so huge, though. And another one. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, it feels so special for some reason. Uh, you know what? Hmm. Let me get myself a spinner lure then. Maybe we're going to be able to change some things around here. Catch something else. I mean, look at that. A yellow tail. But the thing is, we already had that one. I need something else. I need something more special. A thunder eel. I think we already had this one, but uh, let me just try one more time. And after this, I'm going to make my way through the doors. Come on, buddy. Yeah, another black drum. That's fine. All right, uh, let's keep on going then. I guess we are completely done for now. Let me keep on going this way. And before I jump into uh, the portal there, let me also grab me more fishes on the sides. Whoa, what is that one glitching out like that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we already had all of these, but I'm not going to say no to more fishies because we definitely need a lot of them to start cooking more stuff. Come here, buddy. More spawned in, seriously? Well, you know I cannot say no to more fishies, so let me grab a few more then. What I noticed is that it's not really a limit to how many fishies you can hold on to for some reason. I really expected that to be a thing, but anyway. Alright. I think I just let go of that fish, but that's fine. Because I'm definitely not going to let go of this one. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> more spawning again, seriously. I think I just managed to get myself a new species, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe more like a very rare one, I don't know. Because every single time we're here in the puppy barn, I think that's kind of a letting us know that we got something really good. Alright, and that's gonna be for now. Perfect. Alright, so as we make my way through the portal, of course, through the gate here, uh, I do see more fishes on this side that I really want to try to catch me. Let's just see what we got here. I'm gonna try to use all the bait, all the bait, all the rods, and everything that we can so that we can start catching me some more unique fishies. Okay. 
Whoa, the Ocean Overlord. Jesus, this looks awesome. I mean, look at that. The species of fishes that we can find in this area is just insane. Even in the previous episode, we found a lot of them, and we're still not done. Look at that. We got two of these Ocean Overlords. This looks pretty epic. I have a feeling that it has to do something with it being nighttime and also raining. I'm pretty sure about it. Yeah, another one. Awesome. All right, well, in that case, uh, just because we keep on catching all of this, let me go ahead and change the plug lure. Let's try this out. Hopefully, it's going to be a difference. Come on, buddy. A banana mackerel. Not bad. Whoa, the Toon Collector. What the heck is this? This looks really epic. As I was saying, the species of fishes that we can find in this area, it's insane. Um, the, the music kind of changed as well as we're sitting here for some reason. It's like a concert that we're hearing. It's so weird. You know what? Let me go ahead and explore here. What's up? Found something? Whoa. The twin fish? They're beautiful. Oh, these are the twin fish. At least we know what they look like now. It's not much, but perhaps Marina can tell us more. Ah, there we go. So we came over here to explore this area, right? And now that we know what we're looking for, I guess we got to go back, chat with Marina so that she can tell me more about it. Uh, you know what? Let me also make my way through here so that we can keep on exploring this area a little bit more. Whoa, is that the twin fish? I think it is. Ooh! What the? Oh my god. Yeah, we gotta pay attention. <laughs> Apparently this guy is gonna really knock me down if I don't pay attention here. Alright, let me keep on going this way then. Keep on looking around for more fishes, I guess, that we can get. If I'm gonna make my way back home, of course, and chat with Marina, I wanna see what else we can find here. And I found myself a little bit more stuff over here that I can use. So let me try to catch me something. Whoa, the Rock of Eons. What the heck? The amount of new species that we're getting in this site. Really cool. And they all look really crazy as well. Wow, another one. The Snee Sniffer. <laughs> or more like the Snee Sniffler. Alright, come on, buddy. We're getting so much stuff, I love it. Alright, another Snee Sniffler. Awesome, because I do want to cook one and I do want to put one in the aquarium as well. Hopefully I can get another one of those Rock of the Ages. So we have two, I guess. Come on. And then at the moment it is... Oh, oh, look at that. We got another one. And I was just about to say that at the moment it is early in the morning. The rain has stopped. Um, and maybe this is another thing that is causing me to catch uh, different species of fishies. I don't even know. That's why I'm pretty sure that you got to spend like a different time of days, different time of uh, maybe weather effects in order to catch uh, different species in the location. All right. A smoking halibut. Grab this one. I think we have like about five or six new species that we already caught. Including the twin ones that we're about to explore. But I think we're going to have to explore the twin one in the next episode. For now, I'm really having a lot of fun catching me new species in this area. All right, well, while we're at it, let me go ahead and change, uh, let's see, let's go with the Jiggler. And why not the Strong Rod as well? Let's just see how this is going to do. Uh, I know that we don't have any more fishes here, but I'm pretty sure they're going to spawn back in, right? Let's hope so. All 
Oh my god. You know what? I think by using the um, the rod there and the lure, we are catching kind of the same fishes that we caught previously, but much, much, much bigger. Let me just check how many kilograms the next one is going to have. Yeah, look at that. 60 kilos. Uh, I don't remember exactly how many the other ones had, but let's just catch one more time and I think that should be it. Oh my god, 230. Are you kidding me? Jeez. That guy is huge. Alright, well, you know what? It is getting very little outside, so let me go to sleep. Uh, sleep until 6 a.m., I guess. Just like that. Alright, and with this one done, let me make my way back home because I do want to try to chat with Marina to get more information about the twin fish. Now, of course, I didn't have to use this to get back home, but you know what? I really want to do it just because I didn't want to spend any more time doing it myself. And while we're at it, let me go ahead and uh, add one of these. There we go. Fix up the boat a little bit. Because we did manage to get it a little bit damaged there. All right, let me go with the Agile Rod and this one, and we should be good. So next up, let me make my way and chat with Marina for a second. I should have went outside through the main entrance there, but that's fine. Because we do have to get ourselves quite a bit of crabs here. Alright, there's one. Let me put in another one in. Just like that. Oh god, am I gonna be able to grab it? Yes, we can. Perfect. And there's another one in. Uh, I think I want to put like a few more right here to tell the truth, just because we can. There we go. And I want to start getting myself as many crabs as possible. Why not? All right, let me put another one here. Ultimately, let me grab the one that we have right on the side. There you go. Perfect. Alright, this one is done. Uh, let me keep on going this way and see what other missions we gotta do. But first, I gotta make my way to Marina to give her the fishies. And then I'm gonna also chat with her about the twin fish that we just discovered. And while we're at it, a job for Marina. Steamed fish? Three? Hmm, you know what? Uh, do I have that... I don't think I have it. Let me just check. Uh, sizzling fish. So we don't have the steamed ones. You know what? Let me make my way back home. Make the steamed fish and then I'm going to give it to Marina. As we're also grabbing all the missions from her. Why not? Alright, let's see here. So what do we got here? Uh, this is fish and chips. Fish cakes. Whole fish. Steam purple tail, fish chowder, steamed fish. All right, so we got to make three of these, right? I'm going to use three of these then, just like that. There we go. These ones are pretty easy to make, though. We've made so many of them so far. Alright, that is done. And also, finally, boil it up. There you go. Did we get three? Yes, we got three. Just what we needed. And for today, apparently, these things are still selling for quite a bit. So, um, I guess I can use two of these. And that's going to be about it. I don't want to sell anything that I need or use it to uh, make food instead of giving it to the uh, aquarium. I'm going to start cooking more stuff after I'm going to be done delivering stuff, then I'm going to come back here maybe. 
Now, let's see. I mean, we are already up to 2,000 clans, which uh, should be enough to spend on some more things around town. There you go. Perfect. And hopefully, we got the bread. There you go. Perfect. And I think that is about everything that we need so far, right? The colon skink. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to make that one as well eventually. All right, we're good. I think we are good to go for now. So, first of all, let me make my way to my store. Put some stuff in here. Which is going to be... Let's see. What do we got to sell? We got to sell the tacos, of course. Both of them. We have to also start selling in... I mean, I mean, I guess we can sell the sea salads. Although somebody needed this, didn't it? Not quite sure. Yeah, that's gonna be it for now. Uh, did this guy not leave his house already? Come on, buddy. I need, we I need to chat with you. Just come out of the house. I want to give him a bug because that's what he's requesting. Anyway, let me keep on going then. So next up, we cannot grab any more missions because we don't have any more missions. Uh, Akio. Akio needs a dire rock, which we do not have. So I'm going to ignore that mission for now. Uh, you know what? Oh my god, never mind. That's 50,000. I don't have that much. I was just about to fix that up, but apparently we cannot. So I am going to ignore it for now and then make my way right to the marina over here. Mm. Marina, what do you make of this? Beta Angelfish, a large version of the Beta Splendens of the Siamese Fighting Fish. Yeah. Hmm, tremendously rare. Unfathomably long lifespan only found in tropical water. Rare? How much are they worth? Why? Have you found one? I found two. <laughs> the town founders sealed them behind an ocean oh. door. Oh my god, be, be careful. They're extremely combative in pairs. Your first, perhaps only, priority is to ensure they're completely separate. Ideally, into two separate pools. Oh. After that, you'll find them entirely docile, and you'll certainly be doing them a favor. Bye. And honestly, they're priceless. Collectors have spent millions. Oh. Enough to repair the whole town? <laughs> Easily, but at what cost? They're a living piece of Munglo's history. Yeah, if you don't act now, Munglo will be history. It's a bargain I'm willing to make. Hmm, so am I supposed to catch them? I don't even know. Or maybe at least one. But in the meantime, let me just give Marina here the fishes that we just got as we went there. There we go. Whoa, what a hole. Let me write up some notes for you. All right, so I think we got everything delivered. Perfect. Um, So she needed... You have something for me. What do I have for her? Oh, the steamed fish. Yes, we do have. We have three of them. I completely forgot about that. Uh, one, two, three. There we go. Perfect. Wow, I can't believe someone actually did it. Thank you. So I haven't been able to make the grilled octopus. Wait, what? Yes, we have. Look at that. We got it right here. Marina, I made some grilled octopus for you. Hey, how about the folklore? Did you ever believe anything fantastical once upon a time? Absolutely. My pink warrior boy Tata. What kid doesn't dream about being friends with some misunderstood or magical creature? Unfortunately, just wanting for something to be real doesn't make it real. I'd love this bay to be full of enchanted creatures, more than anyone, but until we actually find wow. one. Well, I just have to settle for your delicious grilled octopus. <laughs> okay, hint taken. I'll come with more tomorrow. Alright, so finally we got rid of that. Thankfully, we did not sell it or anything. Um, But I think we are kind of done for now, I guess. Let me see if we opened up a new area here because, man, the new fishes that we just got delivered, those are going to be really epic. Alright, so we got the ice zone, the sulfur zone. So if I go to the sulfur zone, yes, there we go. Finally, we're seeing a lot of species in here. Jeez, these look awesome. I mean, look at these things. Perfect. Alright, I think we're done. So next up, uh, let me just get out of this place and uh, make it out to new locations, I guess. Man, I mean, look at these ones. Hold up, these ones are huge. Look at that thing in the background there. So awesome. Now, if I look at the book here... Of course, we added more fishies to the collection, which is absolutely great. Alright, there we go. 
yeah, we have so many more that we gotta collect though. So next up, uh, let's see, this one is 1500. Let's go with this one. Oh, I get it. This one is a kid's playground. Oh. Huh. Well, this looks awesome then. Happy we managed to fix this one up. And next up is gonna be 2200. Uh, but of course, we only have 1000 left. So we're not gonna be able to fix up anything until I'm gonna give myself more money. This one is 1200. 1500. Uh, let's see, 1200 again. What about this one? 30,000, geez, that's a lot. 2000 here. What about this one? 2,000, jeez. Uh, wait, what does she need from me? Uh, let me see if I can give her the sea salad. Is this the one that she needed? Sea salad. Brilliant, normally one takes my request seriously. There we go, so that was what she needed. Never mind. all right, so we got that one going. Perfect, we got more money. Now we got 1,500, which means we could start spending on something more, right? Like maybe this one? Uh, yep. Yeah, let's go with this one. Perfect. Ah, look at that. This place is fixed now. Love it. And this one's gonna be 250. Uh, we don't have that, of course. It's really not expensive at all, but um, since I wear so broke, we're not gonna be able to do anything about it. And this fella needs a bug from me. So let me give him right, right that right now. Uh, which is gonna be... Wait, oh, there we go, right here. All right, awesome, we got more cash, perfect. All right, buddy, so with that done, uh, do I have any more food that I gotta put in this shop here? Uh, let me put these two. Let me also put, I guess, six of these, just because I wanna get rid of all the food that we got in our inventory. And we are gonna make more tomorrow. And these two. There we go. We are done. Awesome. All right, well, since uh, it is 1 p.m., let me make my way right over here, jump back on the boat and start fishing some more. Hey, Dad, I guess we've seen all the renovation signs around town, right? Yeah, I didn't realize how much needed to be done, but I contribute what I can. Just remember, the better the town's conditions, the more visitors will see, which means every meal in your vending machine will sell for a higher price. Hmm. I mean, I haven't really seen the prices going up that much, so I'm not quite sure exactly what she means by that. But, uh, let me get myself more fishies then. Uh, hold up, I wanna grab this one and put another crab in. And let me look at the waters here. Let's see what other missions we got. So, we still have to make this one work out somehow. Hmm. You know what, let me just make my way over there. Maybe we are gonna be able to catch me those fishies. I don't even know. If that's gonna work, it's gonna be really good, but... I just, all I can do right now is just uh, keep my fingers crossed. All right, there we go, and we're back. Now, let me make my way straight up to those fishies and uh, try to figure it out somehow. These thermal geysers definitely gave us a lot so far. And let me also clean it up then. Let me give it back, I, I guess. It's giving me so many fishies, I have to clean up a little bit at least. There we go. Wow, this one was a huge log. All right, so how do I even separate these two fishies though? Better angelfish, imagine selling just one will have saved the whole town. They're too dangerous to get there. We need to find a way to wedge them apart. Are you sure about this? I mean, the way Marina spoke. Yeah, they clearly need to be separated. Taking one, we're doing them both a favor. Come on, those stacks of rocks could make a perfect water break. Now, I don't think we gotta separate them to tell the truth. I don't, I don't know why, I, I feel like we don't have to do this. It's like separating two brothers, right? Why would you want to do that? What is that yellow stuff, though? Hmm. Well, this is weird. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, we're going so slow through this yellow stuff, though.
I mean, what am I supposed to do? Because other than cleaning up the trash here, I don't even know if I have the ability to do anything else. Ooh! What the... What just happened? Wow, look at him. So he's about to attack me, but I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing here. Oh, I think I know. I think I'm supposed to make him hit the wall. Yes, that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm pretty sure about it. Hold up. Let me try to figure it out. Man, but these things are so big, though. Look at this. These pieces are enormous. No, 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 no. Yeah, I don't think that worked. I don't think that worked. I think I gotta try it again. I'm pretty sure I gotta get him to smash the wall, right? Oh, God. Hmm. Ah, there we go. I think he just smashed it. Actually, I think I just smashed it. Never mind. Come on, guys. Come here. Come on, come on, come on. Smash it here. Smash it here. Hmm. They keep on going on the side for some reason. Come on. Yeah, they keep on going around it for some reason. I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm supposed to do about that. Ooh. There we go. I knew it. So that's what I got to do. All right, so we got to get him to hit this stuff a little bit more. But it's really not easy to do, though. I got to kind of point them towards it. Oh, God. What was that? <laughs> Jeez, I got pushed so much. And I think I got an area here. I just unlocked an area there that's called the Resting Crabs. So I'm guessing that's going to be a perfect area to find a lot of crabs. Attack here, buddy. Attack! There we go. We got it. Awesome. So that is done. We just gotta do it again. Yeah, it's really, really difficult to have them pointing the right way to tell the truth. And I'm really slow in this bubble. So I think I may need to try this uh, somewhere else. Let me try to distract him a little bit. Come this way then. Yeah, he's gonna miss there, unfortunately. Oh, is that gonna work? Nope, he missed. There we go. I think I did it. Success. Now for the easy part. Just got a real one in. There we go. Wait, Dad. They're so peaceful. I, I can't do it. Marina was right. They are priceless. So much for saving the town. Of course we cannot do it. And look at this. <laughs> what is my puppy also floating in the water there in the background? <laughs> and hey, never know. Maybe there's treasure on the wreck. Hmm, you know what? Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, check out the wreck. Maybe there is some treasure over there. Well, that was a bust. I found two cone shells and a metal pipe. Well, same. Nothing but scrap metal and whatever this doodad is. What is that? Mm, which I immediately go and break. Nice one, Reaver. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Looks like a blueprint. The icebreaker? Mm -hmm. The icebreaker. Reaver, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Possibly. We cruise back to town, take a quick nap, then have a light salmon lunch. <laughs> exactly. But at the same time, I think I just got a blueprint for something that I can actually add to my boat, make it even stronger. Oh, and hey. We should get Abby to look at this uh, over this blueprint. She loves around the old junk. Yeah. yeah, I was wondering what she sees in you. Aw, oh, man, you're grounded. I certainly am. Assuming you mean down to earth and hilarious. <laughs> well, that was not a complete waste because we got ourselves quite a bit of stuff. And not only that, but now we got unlocked a new location, which is the crab area, right? And I really... Oh, look at my puppy in the water there. <laughs> Which I really want to go exploring right now. And uh, see what we can get out of it. 
So if I make my way all the way at the bottom here, we are gonna find the resting crag, which probably means that we're gonna be able to get more fishies. Let's just check it out. Uh, at the same time, hold up. Why don't I just go ahead and catch me some of these ones as well? Let me get a little bit closer, actually. Just because these might be new species that we didn't have before. Come on, buddy. Give me something good, please. I knew it. Look at that. The desert crawler. And the pepper fish. What the heck? I mean, that is exactly just a pepper, not a fish. That is so weird. All right, and we have one more that we're going to have to catch on that side. So I may need to go a little bit closer there. And of course, more are going to spawn in. Uh, let me just back up then and try to catch all of them while we're at it. Uh, let me back up a little bit more. Maybe like that. Perfect. Come on. I mean, there's definitely going to be more species around here that we didn't know before. Come on, buddy. Wait, is it caught into something? It is. Dang it. All right, let me try again. And you know what? Whoa, we'll add it. Let me also move the boat because we are kind of messing it up here with the boat. Let's keep it like that instead and do it again. There we go, much better. Grab you, and ultimately I'm gonna grab this one I'm gonna leave then. I mean, we're already catching a lot of the fishes that we already got, which is great. The only one that we got so far and is new from this pond is the crab. Yep, and all that we already have. Alright, well, we are done. In that case, let me keep on going straight forward for the new location. Uh, which is gonna be straight up ahead. I mean, look at this. There's so many fishes around here, it's crazy. And a lot of them we can actually only catch with this. And I'm really okay with this one because we are managing to get new species, multiple of them at the same time. I mean, look at that. The Deadly Threads, the Brazilian Electric Ray, and another th Deadly Threads. Awesome. Definitely what I was looking for. The model demon, the bubbling octopus. Are you serious? Man, I love it. And of course, there's gonna be another one over here that we can go ahead and uh, collect. So, so let's go do this one real fast. And when it's gonna come close to 6 a.m., I am gonna go to sleep real fast in the boat. Thank God we have this because I do want to start catching me more in here before I leave. All right, love it. I think we got a new species in there, if I'm not mistaken, a bluish one. And ultimately, these ones are hopefully at least one of them going to be a brand new species. And yeah, the deadly threat actually, never mind. Alright, never mind. So, with that done, let me make my way inside here for a second, get some sleep really fast. Make sure it's going to be 6 a.m. There we go. And early in the morning, we're going to keep on going. Alright, there we go. Now, if I'm gonna look at the fishing rod, we have the agile plug and um, actually let me go with the high bait here. Just because we are gonna have to use our fishing rod as well to catch more fishies, including of course getting rid of more of these. It is early in the morning, so hopefully new species of fishes are gonna spawn in. There you go, buddy. 
And we got it. I mean, look at these. These are looking so good. No new species, but that's fine because I'm going to try it out on this one next. Oh, don't scare him off. All right, let's see. Whoa! No, 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 no. This one is a huge one by the looks of it. Come on, buddy. What? The Undersea Coffee Shop? What the heck is this? <laughs> this one looks so weird. Oh my god, the species that we're getting here, though. Love it. I mean, from all the entire map that we explored so far in this game, apparently the most insane species have been found here. Look at that, a swamp skimmer. What? Dude, these are insane. And of course, this is only one lure that we're using right now. I'm pretty sure that if we change the lure, and maybe even the fishing rod as well, we're going to be able to get different species. There we go, another one of these ones, perfect. I always want to have uh, two of the same species because one is always going to go inside the aquarium while the other ones I'm going to have to hopefully unlock new uh, recipes. Wow, the Caesar Peach, what? Come on buddy, give me more. Man, the music in this game is so peaceful though, love it. It definitely goes really great with the cozy style of the game. And I feel like they are kind of running low on fishes here. And then a banana markle. Alright, well in that case I am going to look for more locations. Let's just see what else we got around here. So this one is taking me all around this side. Oh, you know what? Let me just go into the map and mark down something over here. Let me mark down a question mark because I have no idea what these things are, but I'm pretty sure that I will have to probably collect them eventually. Oh, God. That was unintended. That should have definitely not happened there. Uh, Twin Tail Lake. So we are back into the Twin Tail Lake here. Oh no, are those dodo birds or something like that? Ah, oh, they look great. Interesting. Well, I do want to make it back here then. Hold up. I do want to make it back here because I want to try to catch me more stuff. Wait, what? What pushed me there? Huh. Apparently there's an invisible wall back here that's not allowing me to cross. All right, all I wanted to do is just come over here and catch me some more of these ones before we go back home. I mean, look at this, the yellow fin tuna. Awesome. These ones are pretty good. And a little bit more on that side as well. Unfortunately, the yellowfin tuna is something that uh, I think she told me that I should not catch, or if I catch too much, just let go of some of it. That's fine. Ooh, the mud demon. Awesome. And ultimately, this fella. Alright, and lastly, these ones. I really want to find more species of crabs though, because there have definitely been some species of crabs that I did not manage to find anywhere. Alright, and... Unfortunately, I did not get the last one there, but that's fine. I mean, look at all these. That is so cool. As I was saying, apparently you can catch almost every single type of fishy using just the, um... Using just the net. But they're gonna be definitely smaller. 
than the ones that are catching when you're using the fishing rod for sure. Imagine if I just collect a lot of trash and that kit is going to improve my fishing net so that I can actually catch a large fish with a fishing net as well. That would be so good. All right, and ultimately, let me try this one more time, but I am going to use different type of uh, fishing rods here, right? Hopefully, they're not going to leave anywhere. Let me go on this one. Let me go with the poise rod, the spinner, and that's going to be it. All right, hopefully, we're going to get something new. I mean, we already have the royal devil. Let's see, some more. And another royal level. Hmm. All right, well, in that case, let's try something else. Uh, let me try the strong one with the plug, I guess. Let's see how that goes. I mean, I feel like the strong one is only allowing me to catch kind of the same style of fishies, but they're only going to be bigger. That's the only difference that I'm noticing, at least. All right, there we go. And we are back home. And I did use the fast travel technique here just because I also have to fix up my boat a little bit. And while we do that, let me go ahead and purchase, let's see, the upgrade. I think I'm going to buy the max one. Why not? There we go. If you need anything, we should be here. All right, awesome. And now I can just go ahead and drive it and get with it all the way back home. Yeah, hopefully it is now perfectly fixed. I don't know exactly how much fixing it needed, but anyway, we're good. Let me just collect everything that we have here, place it back in, and we are gonna jump back into bed really soon. But first, let me make sure I have enough crabs for more food here. All right, there we go, we got that going. And ultimately, I do have one more crab that's set up over here. Of course, we're not gonna be able to interact with anybody today because it is very early in the morning, everybody's asleep. Actually, yes, yeah, it is 12 a.m. already. So let me get myself some sleep as well. Just like that. And all I wanna do before we end up this episode, I wanna try to chat with Marina. There you go, buddy. I'm curious if Marina is going to add me more information about those two fishies that we did not catch eventually because I, I couldn't just separate them, to tell the truth. They were all looking so good. And while we're at it, uh, the food that's going to sell very well today is... Ooh, the fish burgers, apparently. Hmm. I mean, I guess I can make a little bit of it just by using six of these banana fishies and four of these ones. Yeah, why not? One of these ones as well. We should have enough. All right. Let's just make this one while we're at it. We always have to focus on making money on this game, apparently, because we do have to spend a lot more in order to start renovating this place. All right, chop, chop, and chop. Oh, never mind. We got to chop more. So this is one of those that requires me to do a lot of chopping. And fry it up on both sides. Here we go. And finally the bread ink. Alright, this is not gonna give me that much money because we only made like 11 of them, but who knows. And at the same time, you know what? I wanna make another one of these octopuses because I know for sure that I gotta give this one to somebody. And I am gonna use three of them. Yeah, let's just use three of them to make three octopuses. Why not? I mean, this one is so easy to cook. Look at that. Almost messed it up. All right, we are done. So finally, let me make my way to the marina and uh, tell her about the fishies. Well, at it, let's also put the food inside the store over here. It's gonna be all the... Actually, should I put all the burgers? Let me just put 10 because I have a feeling I may need one more. I'm not 100% sure. So that's gonna stay in there. All right, 
Hmm. Abby, you like boat accessories, right? Uh, am I so transparent? Hear my boat accessory shop? <laughs> Alright, Captain Sarcasm, what do you make of this? Well, an icebreaker bow. Hmm. With this attached, even your scrawny vessel could clear away the sea ice. Uh, sure you're up to this, there are strange creatures among the glaciers. Well, there are strange creatures everywhere. Okay, I'll build a new bow, but do me a favor. Marina and Claude know more about the glaciers than <laughs> anyone. Speak to them first, and I'll have the icebreaker ready when you get back. Aha, uh -huh. so I kinda knew it. Apparently, that's exactly what we're gonna have to do. We are gonna have to upgrade our little boat here, as we may need to make our way through an icy area somewhere around here that at the moment seems to be locked. And probably the only way I'm gonna be able to unlock this one is if I'm gonna, is if I'm gonna have the icebreaker to go through the ice. Kind of pretty sure about it. So first of all, let me just grab a uh, fish kebab. I think we can do that. Shield skin resident. I'm not sure what that is. And Noah has a job. A sizzling fish. Yeah, we're definitely going to be able to do that. But for now, let's just chat with Marina. And I think that is going to be it for today. Hey Marina, I have a lot of fishes for you. Sorry, man, I haven't been able to kill the grill octopus. No problem. What do you mean you haven't? You did. It's right here. Another grilled octopus for me. Fantastic. And speaking of hot seafood, have you heard of the steaming hermits? You can find it at the Pershing Isles and Border Sea, among other seas. But curiously, my research suggests it can only be caught using the jiggler and agile rods. Hmm, I'll investigate. And if I happen to discover more grilled octopus along the way, sure thing. All right, let me give her all the fishes that we collected, which is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seriously? Wow, I'm gonna need more space. Yep, I think we gave her all the new species that we had so far. And if I look into my book right now, let's just check this hole out. Oh my god, we got so many unlocked. Look at that, the book is almost done. And look at this, the beta angelfish. Discovered a century ago, the founding brothers were unable to determine if their presence would uh, bring fortune or doom to their uh, fledging town and seal its habitat, locking the territory species in contest ever since. Seriously? Man, I'm really happy that we managed to go through these, uh, through these fishes here and discover them. That was really epic. All right, anyway guys, this has been another episode of Moonglow Bay. If you all enjoyed this journey so far today, make sure you hit on the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new here, as I'm bringing you guys more videos just like this one every single day that I'm really hoping that you guys are gonna enjoy. And of course, until next time, stay safe out there, and I'll see you all next one soon. Bye.